Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and an original house design in my town, Sims Landing. This is a house design for a houseboat. Before we get into it, though, we wanted to do a few shout outs for viewers. First shout out is for Jake, who is a really awesome commenter who basically comments and watches all of our videos, it seems, which is really lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for、uh, being such a loyal follower. <laughs> Next, thanks to Amy Duggar, who views and comments on both our Minecraft videos and our Simmons Free Play videos. Amy is、uh, really keen that I build a pet shelter in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I don't know how to do that, but once I work it out, I will try and give it a shot, Amy. <laughs> and finally, a shout out to Angelina, who leaves really awesome comments on many of our original house designs. We can't always reply because I think your settings might not. Allow that, but we just wanted to use this moment to say thank you so much and we really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Angelina. Okay, so this is the outside of the houseboat. I posted a picture of it to Instagram a while back, but finally I'm getting around to doing this house tour. We had a lot of tours we wanted to do in the backlog. Yeah, so it's a quirky shape for a houseboat.、Mm. It's really interesting. Well, actually, it's partly based. Or it's partly inspired by a real houseboat. I was、mm. kind of looking for, let me show you the roof view very quickly. I was kind of looking for houseboats to do because I was getting tired of the one that I had here. It was like one of the pre built houseboats, and I wanted to do something new and interesting. And so I looked at the houseboats, and there are a lot in Europe, for instance, on like the canals and stuff where you know, it's easy to have a houseboat because the water doesn't move that much. And I found plans for one where the family bedrooms were kind of lower, they were sunken a little bit underwater, you know,、um, in the boat, obviously. And then the living quarters were on top, and then they had a garden roof. It's called below the waterline. Below the waterline, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there's less,、uh, less back and forth of the boat as it rocks、mm, okay. lower down. That's true, so you won't get seasick while you're <laughs> sleeping.、Mm. So, yeah, as we go through, we'll see some of those influences, and I will link in the video description below to the actual website where I found that houseboat. So, from the dock, you can enter you know, through any of these three gangplanks, is that what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a pool in front. Lit by a couple of the new outdoor lights we、mm. got from the recent limited time event. Fancy. And an open bit here, which I meant to be sort of, yeah, like an open air space to the pool as well, but it's just basically shelter for, you know, you're enjoying the pool, but then you can come in and enjoy the lounge chairs and the table and chairs in the shade. And then the actual door accessing the boat is here. And that gets into a narrow hallway here, which is sort of the spine of the bedroom area. So, on the one side, we've got stairs up to the rest of the boat. And then, on, well, let's start over here. This side, this is the bathroom. So, the parents and kids will share this. There's a vanity here. Here's the shower area. Here's the separate toilet area. Again, just using that same kind of sectioned off bathroom style I've been doing in a lot of my recent house designs. But then through here, this open doorway, is the laundry area. Yeah,、so、that's, that's really neat. So, yeah. yeah, it's part of the bathroom, but separate enough as well. Yeah. Then further down the hallway is the entrance to the master bedroom. And that's just very simply decorated in the Scandinavian furniture as a sort of nod to where I originally got the design from. It was a, I think, Denmark based boat. Although I may have been mixing them up, but either way, it's a, it's a nod to that. <laughs> And then on the end of the hallway here is bedroom number one for one of the daughters. So that has just the striped bed, Hello Kitty dresser. And then. On this side is a bedroom for the second daughter, and that has a quilted bedspread and a desk because she's a little more studious. Cute. Yeah, both those bedrooms are very compact. Yeah. Which I think makes sense because they live on a boat. Yeah, that was kind of part of the challenge that I wanted to give myself also was just to see how much I could cram onto、yeah. a boat. But obviously, this is the biggest houseboat size, I think, in the game. So 
there's a bit of a flower trellis there, and then we take the stairs up to the living common floor, I would say, and this hallway kind of connects the two sections. So on this side is a kitchen and dining area, and the kitchen has just got these counter stools here, and the kitchen itself is sort of a narrow galley shape, as befitting a boat, I guess. And then over here, there's still space for a six-person table. And you carried on with the Scandinavian modern design, both obviously with a table and chairs, Yeah. and with the new rug as well. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely still very much influenced by the original houseboat that I saw. Again, they had very modern, clean lines throughout, and they even had room for a six-person table, which I found really impressive, and that's why I was like, I'm going to make sure I have room for that as well. Off of the small hallway with the stairs is this small balcony, and I went with the wood decking, of course, because it's boat, and that has room for a grill, table, and chairs there. And then this way is the living room, on one side, you have the seating for the family around the TV with the red couches from the Product Red charity event for Apple users from last year. And then on this side is set off by this privacy screen is just a small office sort of space. That's really cool. I really like how you've separated the space like that. Yeah, I don't often get to a chance to use these privacy screens the way they're meant to be used. Yeah. And so I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to do that. And here you can see all around its windows, because if they're out on the water, why not enjoy views of the water? Mm. That makes sense. And I like that you've got the stairwell for the entire boat, I think, is in the central... Yeah. Yes, yeah, sort a of vertical spine as opposed to the horizontal spine of the corridors. I mean, it's basically the only place I could put the stairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it because it makes a lot of design sense. That's yeah. what you're supposed to say. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Then up to the next floor is a bit of different kind of use of space. So on this side is where I envision the driving of the boat to happen, if it were to happen. I think this boat mostly probably just lives parked at the dock all the time. <laughs> but that's signified by this park bench next to the <laughs> steering wheel and the whatever tool this is. We previously talked about it. Yeah. I think it's a commu an old style communication thing. Yeah. And so that's also signified by the telescope so that they kind of know where they're going <laughs> and <laughs> the weather machines so that they can monitor the weather. Yep, that makes sense. They also have a painting easel here for, you know, if you just happen to catch a nice view from this side. And over here, putt-putt, just for Oof. why if, not. If they miss, that ball is going over the side of that railing. Well... <laughs> It's the challenge. The challenge is not to miss, and so, therefore, never uh, to lose. Or maybe they just put a piece of cardboard around to stop it. <laughs> so then on this side is a bit of a sunroom, which I have in one of my Charleston houses, uh, which we've done a whole series of videos on recently, but I wanted this in my town because those Charleston houses are in your town. <laughs> so I decided to do a similar idea, again, with windows all around, these couches here, and the white flower trellises to give it a feel of outdoorsy and plants and yeah, stuff like that. And, and another actually, painting easel. Oh, you get outside from that corner yes. by the easel. There's yeah. a door here, which then comes out onto this other balcony, which has seating there as well. And then finally, there's another floor. <laughs> And each of these floors, the actual rooms are getting smaller. Yes. The space for rooms versus balcony. Yeah, and that's intentional because I wanted there to be an interesting oh, a roof garden. structure. Exactly. So as I said, the original houseboat had a rooftop garden or it had, well, some sort of like grassy area on the roof and it was meant <laughs> to like blend in with the natural surroundings. And so, so modern. Yeah. And so I kind of had this idea, the family here... They want to be self-sustaining because they're living on the water, so that means they've mm -hmm. got to grow a lot of their own fruits and vegetables. So that's why I put two garden patches up here, and I went for these flower stands because I've got this idea maybe they're just as much for storing fruits and vegetables as for, yeah. you know, the flowers. 
And then there's also just an extra table and chair set up here for enjoying the view from the top of the boat. So yeah, as you can see, the balconies and the smaller rooms as you go up means that you've got this, yeah, interesting structure, or I think it's interesting anyway. No, I think it's got a, a great shape, and as you said, it's definitely built for living in mm. rather than for intensive sailing. Yeah, I don't think you want fine. to move this boat on the heavy, no, just like go, in a heavy storm or go something. Go up and down the canals, or don't even bother, just like exactly. enjoy living on the water near nature. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour of this boat. Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Freeplay videos on the way. Thanks for watching!